most important mushroom I want to talk to you all about is chaga. Now, I'm going to spend some time on chaga. I'm going to tell you guys what I know. I wrote a blog about this uh, a little while ago about what chaga may be able to do for coronavirus. And uh, I'm going to go through that in case you didn't get a chance to read it. So first I want you to understand what makes coronavirus deadly. The thing that makes coronavirus deadly is the cytokine storm. A cytokine is a molecule or um, anything, any kind of substance that's produced by our cells and uh, they often are used to communicate between cells. They can be absorbed in cells. The point is that uh, your body naturally produces these things called cytokines and uh, probably for cell communication. That said, the coronavirus is causing uh, a cytokine storm, which is a erratic overproduction of cytokines, particularly in our lungs and respiratory system. And this is causing respiratory failure and death. So I am uh, gonna use a quote that came from Medical Device News Magazine. Those that were admitted to the ICU, particularly those with severe disease, exhibited significantly higher levels of inflammatory cytokines compared to those that did not. This cytokine storm can trigger a viral sepsis and coronavirus infection where viral replication and excessive uncontrolled systematic inflammation can lead to pneumonia, acute respiratory distress syndrome, respiratory failure, shock, organ failure, secondary bacterial pneumonia, and potentially death. It's replicating harmful cytokines that it, and it's becoming too inflammatory. We also know that chaga is one of the most anti-inflammatory substances on earth due to the fact that its oxygen radical absorbance capacity is higher than anything on earth, any naturally occurring substance. I just tested this for polyphenols and it came back with 29 total polyphenol count. Um, and that's a ratio, I don't know the exact uh, measurement, but I know that compared to turkey tail, chaga was 29 to one in its antioxidant activity. And this is the one being studied by the FDA right now, or not by the FDA, excuse me. It's a studied at Bastyr University the trials approved by the FDA. We need to get a study approved on chaga. There's more reasons why. Um, so let's talk about the antiviral properties of chaga. Chaga has been tested on hepatitis C. It's also been studied uh, with herpes, HSV-1. These are both viruses. And uh, let's read two direct quotes from those studies, which you can find at ncbi.gov. Let's start with the quote from the abstract of the study on HSV-1. The subfractions of chaga extracted with water, alcohol, and alkali were tested for their toxicity for the vi viro cell culture and antiviral effect in the viro cells infected with the herpes simplex virus. It was shown that most of the subfractions were not toxic for the viro cells, which is good, that means it's not harmful for our body and had protective effect on the viro cells infected with HSV. The subfraction IV in the concentration of five micrograms per milliliter protected the viro cells from cytodestructive action of HSV and no viral DNA was detected in infected cells treated with chaga extracts. One, I just wanna re reiterate that, chaga eradicated herpes in the cells that were treated with it in this study and that applied to water extracts, alcohol extracts, and alkali extracts. Number two is uh, that chaga exhibited protective properties in the damage that was caused by erratic cytokines produced by HSV-1. Let's move on to hepatitis. Fractions of Inonotus oblicus fungus water extract exhibited a, viru, a virucidal effect towards hepatitis C. It 100-fold reduced its infective properties within 10 minutes. The antiviral effects of the fungus extracts manifested after preventative um, and therapeutic use 
both 24 hours before infection and use during infection of porcine embryo kidney cells. Moreover, the data indicated that the birch fungus extracts inhibit the production of infective virus by porcine embryo kidney cells. Now, the last thing I will share is that both studies show the best perfect protective effect was observed when the compound was added before or within one hour after the Vero cells were infected with HSV. In other words, we should be carrying our chaga tincture around and anytime that there is a risky exposure, anytime that you do have to go in public, anytime that you see someone cough and is, who is close to you, then it, it, for whatever reason, it makes you uncomfortable. If you want peace of mind, use the chaga tincture. One hour before or one after exposure has proven to be effective in antiviral properties. We already know this, this has been studied. Now, the other thing that we should address is one study that was performed with chaga on uh, cells that were chemically um, altered or treated with chemotherapy. As a result of the chemical alteration or exposure to chemicals, which was intentional, um, the cytokines being produced by these cells went out of control. Uh, there was one cytokine in particular in this study that was uh, overproducing or being overproduced dramatically and there was one cytokine that was being dramatically underproduced as a result of chemotherapy treatment. When the chaga was used, uh, it exhibited a cytokine modulation effect. This means that it actually was able to normalize and significantly reduce the cytokine production that was being overproduced as a result of the chemotherapy and the chaga was able to increase the production of the cytokines that were being underproduced as a result of the chemotherapy treatment. I look at this information, and this is what I conclude. Chaga can help right now. So this is what Birch Boys is doing. I'm about to go to the Tupper Lake Adult Center. We have 52 packs of chaga tea bags we are giving chaga free, giving it away for free to anyone who is 65 years or older. Um, if you are 65 years or older and you're watching this and would like to try chaga or want some, get a hold of us. You can call us at 518-299-9620. I will answer the phone. Um, these tea bags are going to the Tupper Lake Adult Center. They are currently delivering meals to 65 seniors in our town every day. Uh, which I highly respect. And ironically, uh, the adult center is where my grandmother, uh, both of my grandmothers actually went and learned about Chaga together on a trip. So uh, it feels right because the adult center is where for the very first time I brewed our Chaga tea samples in a certified kitchen. And uh, now we will be working with the adult center to make sure that everyone in our community who needs Chaga or wants Chaga is going to get Chaga. So. I just wanted to provide a little encouragement for everyone that is stressed right now. I do have a lot of uh, reservations about the things I am hearing and the people that are speaking on the TVs. We're all gonna be okay. We all need to consider that there are things that we do not fully take seriously um, that can really, really help us right now. That's so true.